All right, we're up to number six on the isometric drawings. Now, there's something interesting that happens on number six. This point right here is where we're going to start. But what's strange about this point is normally this point is on the front edge, right? So this point, this point right here, instead of being all the way forward, it's actually not here, but it's back here a little bit. So that's it's no big deal, but it's just something that doesn't normally happen on these drawings. It's also this point right here. It's not this point. It's actually this point right here. Because if you bring that up, if you had a 45 degree line up here, bring that up, it would connect right there. Okay. So this is just a unique thing that doesn't happen on many of these drawings. And it's not any more complex. It's just, it's just a little different. So first thing we do, is we start out by measuring. So the full distance from here to here is two and a half inches. So two and a half inches would be 10 squares. The whole height from here to here is an inch and a half, would be six inches or six squares. And the full width here is one and a quarter, which would be a total of five squares. The smaller dimensions, from here to here, this is three quarters, so that's three squares. This is also three squares. The distance from here to here is a half inch, so that's two, and two and five. Five minus two is three. So if this is three, this is three. This is three, this is three. Uh, let's see here. We can measure this distance. That's a one full inch. This is a four. From here to here, this is also a four. From here, from the edge here to here, which is the same as from here to here, that's an inch and a half. So that would be six squares. Uh, but from here to here, which is two. We know that this is three because we have that here. This is four, four, two. This back edge is five. Okay, so we've got that laid out. So we're ready to start. This point right here is right here. And we can go back, not 10, but we can go back eight to this corner right here. So if I, this four plus four to this corner, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to this point right there. Now that's an inside corner. We're going to have something like this in that corner. Just like that, that's gonna be this inside corner and it goes up because we're at the bottom. So let's go ahead and draw that. Now we go up three, up one, one, two, three to this point. And I am drawing this face right here right now. So it's up three over four. One, two, three, four to here. We go up three again. One, two, three. And back another four. One, two, three, four to this point right here. And it lines up here. Now, if we wanna check this, this is supposed to be six tall. One, two, three, four, five, six. It works out, this point is good. So this face right here is the same as this face, this L-shaped face. Okay. Now, the width of that face, the width of this face is two. So what I can do is I can take each one of these points and I can take it in that direction, two squares. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And 
one, two. Now this is not the end. It will actually continue past this, like this L-shaped piece, but it gives me an idea where it's at. So I'm gonna connect those dots. And it's actually gonna go past. I'm not sure how much, but it's gonna go past. And so now I can connect these in this direction. These are corners. I want to mark those corners. Don't wanna forget about those. All right, so you can see there's sort of like a step. So then we have this piece right here. This piece would be right here. We can see that this and this are these two, and then we're missing this piece. So we're gonna go over three and up six. One, two, three, and up one, two, three, four, five, six, to this point right here. And we can see that that makes our parallelogram just like we want. Okay, so that's this face right here. We've got that established. So now this has a depth of, it looks like two. So I'm gonna count back one, two to this point here. Count back one, two to this point right here. And let's go ahead and draw this face right here. So right here, that is right there. So we've got these three done, we've got these two done, we've got this one done from here, and all that's left is finishing this L shape. And it looks like we just need one more line to do that. From this point, we're gonna go five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, it worked out perfect. And that is the finished number six isometric sketch.